it is a privilege to be back. It's a privilege to be with, with so many friends here. Um, <clears throat> the purpose of this roundtable is really to hear from each of you. Uh, what is happening along our southern border is unprecedented. And it is putting enormous pressure on the communities of South Texas all along the Rio Grande. Uh, that pressure, I don't have to tell you about because everyone around this table, you're dealing with it uh, on a daily basis as the volume of traffic increases and increases dramatically. You're facing it from a Border Patrol perspective, from a law enforcement perspective, from an education perspective, from a public health perspective, uh, from a perspective of resources uh, in each of these communities that are being stretched incredibly thin. I believe this problem is being caused by an administration and federal government that is failing and actively refusing to follow the law. And our immigration system doesn't work if you have an administration that won't follow the law. Uh, and I can tell you, at least for the three of us here, that we are deeply, deeply concerned about this crisis. And are committed to doing anything and everything possible to ensuring we have the resources, but even more importantly than the resources, ensuring we have the policies in place that enable us to enforce the law and not incentivize massive illegal immigration. Um, South Texas is the front line. Y'all bear the costs in the first instance, but as you know, the traffic that is coming, much of it does not stay in South Texas. It goes on to Houston or San Antonio, and then goes on to the rest of the country. And the ongoing consequences are far-reaching and long-lasting. 